Okay, hello guys. Uh, I made a new type of instant wire. I want to show you. But first off, I want to show you what's wrong with the old instant wire. So over here, I got a bunch of um, classical instant repeaters. The Davy Rider design, I think. Um, these can send a blink when the input goes off. Output goes off too, instantly. But um, when you look at my FPS, it's like 150 average. And when I talk on this for a bit, you will see that my FPS drops really badly to like two FPS now. One, yeah, uh, it's really bad. It makes this it makes this repeater unusable in large amounts. I think it's uh, like 200 repeaters, so. Not enough if you want to have huge buses. Um, so I tried to make another instant wire. Uh, I came up with this first, but um, this is even worse. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, then I came with this. It doesn't use any pistons, so it's not really laggy. Uh, it works the same as that one. When you turn it off, output blinks off too. So this can uh, transmit a pulse or blink or whatever you want to call it instantly, with almost no lag because it has no distance, only one torch. So I got uh, 1,000 of these stacked there. Some are broken, but they will um, fix if you talk with them a few times. So. Not that bad. They get broken when you um, close the server when you uh, force to, to close it without typing stop in the command pr prompt. I'm not quite sure why that happens, but if it's running and you uh, force it to close without forcing it with stop command or anything, uh, some will break and you have to um, cycle a few times through them. Got a repeater here and uh, a clock with uh, on vortex delay two times. Show you the lag. And so I had oh what the hell? Ah, uh -huh. ready. That's good enough. Um, so I have. 75 FPS now instead of like one with the other repeated. Uh, I have 140 average, I think. Now it's like 70. So it does drop, but it's not too bad. As you can see, works instant. Or that far in the back, it looks like they're not working, but they do. Uh, Minecraft doesn't uh, update the render that far away with redstone. I'm not sure why, but if you look far away, you see them only being on instead of going on and off. But if I move this way, you can see them blinking too. So it's okay. It works, you can see here. 70 FPS now. If the FPS gets even better if you turn off the render distance, because you can see here the render is taking like 70% of the CPU power. So if you run the distance too short, but tiny. They still work. And the FPS is 150 now. So that's a lot better. So that's pretty great. It's, so it's usable in large amounts without having to. If you look away from it, the FPS gets even better. So it's really the rendering only, and not the uh, calculation of the piston that's moving. So it has almost no lag, and it works instant too. As you saw, uh, it can only transmit a pulse or blink, whatever you want to call it. Through these repeaters. 
got one here. Um, so that's what I call the instant pulse, instantly um, transmitted pulse. And I made these two gates. This one is still pretty overcomplicated to think. Might gonna simplify this one. Uh, this is the instant normal to pulse. Basically what it does is it generates a pulse every time the input changes. So input goes on, generates a pulse. Input goes off, and another pulse. This is what I use at the start of my lines, like here. So I can have a normal redstone wire as input without having to do all this blinking stuff. Then this is pulse to normal. So this is this goes at the end of the line where it receives the pulse and it uh, translates it into a normal uh, normal signal. Basically this one changes the state of the output every time it gets a pulse. So I will give the pulse. No, it's not fast enough. Goes off. Goes on. Off. On. Off. On. So these two work instant, but this one uh, doesn't really work instant. Um, when, it, when the output goes off, it goes instant. We see it was instant. When it goes on, it would take one tick. But it's not that bad because you only need this one at the end of the line. I got here an example line. Here's the gate that translates a normal signal into a, a pulse. And I got the pulse repeaters here, all the way to the back. These one are all instant, and it comes here into this gate again, and this translates it back into a normal signal, so we can, so you can use it in your projects. Uh, this one takes one tick on the upward edge and zero on the downward edge, so pretty good. We we'll see if I turn this on. What this will go on one tick later. If I turn it off, it will go off instantly. One tick. Instant. Doesn't matter how many repeats you have or how far you go, it always takes zero or one tick to update this. So yeah, that was it. Hope you guys like it. See you.